Hello everyone, welcome to Mathematics Passala. This is Norris. Today I will discuss this problem which came in CHR UGC net December 2023 in Part C. This question from Partial Differential Equation. Le let's see the question. Let B equal to XY belongs to R2 such that X square plus Y square less than 1 be the open unit disks in R2 and del B equal to XY belongs to R2 such that x square plus y square equal to 1 b is boundary and b bar equal to b union del b for lambda belongs to 0 comma infinity open interval open interval 0 comma infinity let s lambda be the set of twist continuously differentiable function in b that are continuous on b bar and satisfy this partial differential equation in b and u x y equal to 0 on its boundary that is delta b del b so what is given that given that s lambda be the set of twist continuously differentiable function in b that are continuous on b bar and satisfy this partial differential equation in b and u x y equal to 0 on del b so let here p equal to del u del x and q equal to del u del y so the given partial differential equation becomes p s square plus lambda q s square equal to 1 in b let a function f x or x y u p q function f x y p q function of x f x y p q equal to p s square plus lambda q s square minus 1 so it will be 0 in b so but now we we will use the charpit auxiliary equation so by by charpit's auxiliary equation what we get we will get d a, dp by fx plus pfu dq by fy plus q f f u equal to d u by minus p f p plus q f q equal to d x by minus f p d y by minus f q d f by zero okay so here you can see that f is only function of p s p and q there are no x y u explicitly so there are no x x y u explicitly so only function of p q so if you if you do derivative with respect to x partial derivative with respect to x we will get zero or y you will get zero or u will get zero so here we you get dp by zero dq by zero so from two from the first two fraction what we get dp by 0 because if derivative of partial derivative of f with respect to is 0 and with respect to u 0 and with respect to y also 0 and with respect to u 0 so we will get dp by 0 and dq by 0 from this first two fraction so basically what we get from the first two fraction dp by 0 and dq by 0 so it will gives p equal to a and q equal to b where a b are arbitrary arbitrary constant okay stand so where a b are arbitrary constant so now see see what do we know that d u equal to p d x plus q d y since p equal to a so it give a dx plus b dy so our, uh, after integrating what we get u x y will will we'll get will give give a x plus b y plus c y c is arbitrary constant so now see what we know that p square plus lambda q square equal to 1 in b and p equal to a so putting p equal to p equal to a and q equal to b what we gives what it gives a square plus lambda 
b square equal to 1 so lambda b square will be 1 minus a square so b b will be plus minus 1 minus a square by lambda root over root over 1 minus a square by lambda so from this u x y can be written as a x y plus minus root over 1 minus a square by lambda into y plus c so basically we find the u x y in this form now what we know that we know that u x y is 0 on del b del b means x square plus y square equal to 1 where x y belongs to r2 so x square plus y square equal to 1 where x y belongs to r2 now so let now if we take x equal to 1 y equal to 0 then the 1 0 point should be belongs to the boundary db del b so a 1 0 is in the one the boundary del b so so 1 0 is a point on db on db and so u 1 0 should be 0 because u x y 0 on db because u x y 0 is on db so u 1 0 should be 0 so u x y is what a x plus u x y is ax plus minus root over 1 minus a square by lambda into y plus c so u, u 1 0 gives a plus c equal to 0 so it will give c equal to minus a so from this we will get u x y equal to a x minus 1 plus minus root over 1 minus a square by lambda ok now c now c into y so now c 1 0 point on this 0 1 point also on del b because x square plus y square equal to 1 on del b so x square plus y square equal to 1 so 1 0 point 0 1 point is also on db so u 0 1 also give 0 0 so from this what do we get a a 0 minus 1 plus minus 1 minus a square by lambda into 1 equal to 0 so basically we get a equal to plus minus 1 minus a square by lambda so so from this you can write that uh, a square equal to if you square both side you will get a square equal to 1 minus a square by lambda from we can write a square a square into lambda equal to 1 minus a square from this you can write a square into 1 plus lambda equal to 1 so from this you can write a equal to plus minus 1 by 1 plus lambda so what we get a equal to plus minus root over 1 by 1 plus lambda and we find u x y equal to this so u x y can be written as u x y equal to a x minus 1 and this term becomes also this term becomes also a you can see that this term becomes also a so we can write a into y so basically what we get basically we get u x y equal to if i take common a so it will become a into x minus 1 plus y so you can write it a equal to x plus y a into x plus y minus 1 so u x y becomes this where a equal to what a, a equal to a equal to we get a equal to plus minus 1 by 1 plus lambda root over root plus minus root over 1 by 1 plus lambda so u x y can written as u x y can written as u x y equal to plus minus 1 by root over 1 by 1 plus lambda into x plus y minus 1 ok so u x y become this now see on db u x y equal to 0 and db means x square plus y square equal to 1 you can see 1 by root 2 
1 by root 2 is also on db also on also on uh, also on del b sorry this is del b so also on del b so so u 1 by root 2 comma 1 by root 2 will be 0 because 1 by root 2 comma 1 by root 2 point 1 del b so you from the this expression you will can you will get plus minus 1 by root over 1 plus or root over 1 by 1 plus lambda 1 by root 2 plus 1 by root 2 minus 1 equal to 0 from this you can write plus minus 1 by lambda 1 plus root 2 plus 1 plus root 2 2 by root 2 2 by root 2 minus 1 equal to 0 implies plus minus 1 by root over 1 plus lambda root 2 minus 1 equal to 0 this is not equal to 0 now lambda belongs to what lambda belongs to lambda belongs to 0 comma infinitive lambda belong to belongs to 0 comma infinitive zero comma infinity so so it implies root over one plus lambda not equal to zero because lambda is finite number so not equal to zero therefore what we get this expression can't be not equal to zero this expression not equal to zero so the solution does not exist for this for this boundary condition so the solution does not exist for this boundary condition because if this boundary condition uh, satisfies then the solution does not exist there we get a contradiction there we get a contradiction so such solution does not exist for any lambda for any lambda for any lambda belongs to 0 comma infinity this solution does not exist therefore now go to the option what is said in option in first first option what is says s1 equal to phi that is correct because when lambda equal to 1 there are no there are lambda equal to 1 there are it said there are no solution we see that we can't get any solution for any lambda if this boundary condition exists so s1 equal to phi there this in option 2 what is said that s2 equal to phi that is also true we see we see that we can't sol get solution for any lambda belong, belongs to 0 comma infinity so option 2 is true in option 3 what is say what is say that s1 has exactly one element we see that s1 has no element so option 3 is false and option 1 option 4 what is said that s1 is to both are infinite that is also false because they s there are no solution exists so s1 is to should be five so option 1 and 2 are correct and 3 4 would should be false thank you for watching this video